Hey everyone, it's Andy Zitzman, founder of the Game Time Movement, where I'm on a mission to helping you and one million other people step up your game. In this short three to five minutes every day, I'm going to provide you with inspiration, motivation, and empowering information so that you can wake up, have a little pick-me-up, get fired up so that you step up on a daily basis. So get ready, because it's time, it's your time, it's game time. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Andy Zitzman, and thank God it's Monday! Yes! All right, it's Monday. We're kicking off the week, and today I'm going to talk to you about conditioned responses. You know, I've been having quite a few calls lately with my clients and talking about conditioned responses because, you know, I mean, in life and in business, right, things just pop up. You know, we talk about that negative self-talk that creeps into our head and just plays all the time, and that how we have to condition ourselves to actually, you know, flip that to having positive self-talk. And over time, in practicing positive thought and positive words coming out of our mouth, all of a sudden we start to become more positive. But no matter how good we get at you know at do, being great, you know, or good at positive self-talk, it's important to have some conditioned responses to the things that are challenging us in life. You know, our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions. You know, and so you know, I talk to my clients all the time, and like you know, typically things that pop up are fear, maybe anger, procrastination, you know, self-doubt, the imposter syndrome, those things. You know, that just create in and can take you out and take you down a path of negativity might ruin your day might ruin your week and sometimes it can even ruin you ruin you for months and so the question I have for you is what is your condition response the best thing you can do is to have a conditioned response to the stuff that you know that takes you out so that you can flip to the positive a lot quicker. You know, I've talked about my, my uh, this or that, right? I talked about this or that, this or that, and as a pattern interrupt where I sing the song, you can get with this or you can get with that. As a pattern interrupt, a conditioned response so that when I have, you know, the negative, which is the that, and I wanna flip the this, I can just sing that song and get into a different state and interrupt the pattern. And I also have conditioned responses for fear. I talked about my four-step process for fear. You know, face, embrace, act, repeat face, embrace, act, repeat. So when fear hits, I know, boom, I gotta go to that four step process and flip the script on my fear. You know, and then other things, you know, I'll tell you, I'll share an example with you. When I left the corporate world, and you know, you talk about fear, you talk about self-doubt, talking about, oh my God, what did I just do to my life? And just having complete and utter fear and self-doubt on a daily basis, you know, I had to I had to have a conditioned response. And so what I did was I took out a piece of paper and I wrote down all the reasons why I must leave corporate, all the reasons why I must go and follow my dreams and my passions and serve this world in a much greater, bigger way. And then I also wrote down you know, all of the feelings I had and all of the possibilities of what it could look like when I go out there and execute my plan and create my new life. And so my conditioned response was this. As soon as that feeling would hit, and it often hit in the morning, right when I'd wake up, like, you know, that feeling like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? I would get out that piece of paper. I'd stand up in a strong state and I'd read read those reasons why. I'd read all those possibilities and I'd put myself right back into that positive state, that state of strength, that state of hope, that state of just absolute and utter belief in myself and what is possible by reading that and having a conditioned response. And so just take a moment today and think about what are the things that you're challenged with, the feelings, the emotions that really just take you out. You know, whether it's anger, fear, uncertainty, doubt, you know, procrastination, whatever it is, pick one of them and just create a conditioned response that you're gonna say to yourself in a positive self-talk example, a positive self-talk. You know, you're gonna say to yourself and you're gonna repeat every time that hits so that you can go from, you know, that feeling of negativity to flipping to the positivity quickly. You can learn to manage yourself and if you create conditioned responses, you'll do a great job. It's time, you know it's your time, to condition yourself for greatness. It's game time. Hey, thanks for tuning in today and thanks for stepping up your game. Here's what you can do to spread the movement. Go to GameTimeMovement.com and be sure to share your Game Time Moment of the Day, your GMOTD, so that others will feel compelled to share their Game Time Moments too. And if you haven't already, subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher Radio, and please be so kind to leave a rating and review so that we can reach 1 million people and encourage them to step up their game too. This is Andy Zitzman reminding you, it's your time, it's game time, till next time.